it's Delicacy here with Let's Play The Sims for Barbie Season 2 Episode 50! Gosh, that is quite a mouthful. But yeah, we're up to part 50 of Let's Play The Sims for Barbie Season 2. And that is really, really cool. Really cool, really crazy. Um, and this is the final part for this season. So yeah, I, I'm pretty stoked with that. And I'm keen to make more. You guys seem to want more. So I'm going to make a Season 3. And just as a heads up, season three will begin once their new house is ready uh, in San Maishino. I know I've been talking about it for a while and some of you guys were just like, please, can you just do it? You said you were gonna do it for ages. Uh, but here's the thing. I have actually been working on the Barbie dream apartment since City Living came out. I've actually built it two times. I built two penthouses and I wasn't happy with the build, so I didn't release them and I want to try for a third time. So it's not because I've been lazy or that I haven't been doing anything. It's because I was not happy with what I had done. So the pent, the new penthouse will be built once we have the vintage glamour stuff pack release, uh, which is in a few days. I think it's on the 7th it gets released in Australia. So, or well, the 6th. Um, in America, North America. So yeah, hopefully uh, I can build that penthouse quit pretty quickly. And I'm also going to be giving all of the families makeovers, uh, all of the Barbie family a makeover because I'm so sick of their clothes. You have no idea. I'm so ready for it. But again, I want the vintage glamour stuff pack because you know, there might be some good items in there. Uh, I couldn't actually bear to give <laughs> or to record another part with Diamond with that weird outfit glitch. So I've just put her in this outfit. I'm really glad that she's starting to gain some more weight. I know I've been talking about for a while that I want Diamond to have some weight gain in this Let's Play. Uh, not because I'm skinny shaming at all. Uh, it's really funny. Some of the comments are like, you just want to make us sim chubbier because you don't like skinny sims <laughs> oh my god uh, I like diversity and I'm sick of characters that are all the same so you know what we're having a character who has some cushion on her you know who cares this, the, I want this to represent somewhat of real life and the reality is not everyone's super skinny so that's what we're doing. And I also changed her hair to this platinum blonde ombre uh, custom hair because for some reason the other color since the update is not working. So that's weird. Uh, also Mercedes. Oh my gosh, what is with the hair? Why is it not working? It's really weird since the update. Hmm, I don't, I don't trust this hair. Since the update, it's glitching out real bad. You know what? Let's just go back to some normal hair. Oh wait, that's not normal hair. Let's just put her hair to the side. Uh, mm, don't like that. Mm, don't like that either. Oh God, oh God, now we got some problems. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, mm, green clips in the hair. No, don't like that. <sighs> Sorry guys. I might make this part a little bit longer than usual because it's the last part. Uh, we'll just go with this for now. She's had a nice, a nice haircut. And Mercedes over here, I was really into the idea of dreadlocks. I know some of you guys loved these pigtails, but I, I don't know. I feel like they're a little bit too cutesy for her character. I would like her to have dreadlocks. She is uh, definitely nothing like Diamond. Diamond would prefer pigtails, but she kind of would like to go against her mom, I think. We could still give her pink hair, which is kind of cool, but it's more edgy. I know you guys were talking about teal in the comments, if you guys liked that idea. Uh, I don't know about red. I don't think she was ever blonde, she was brunette. So she either has to be brunette or colored, I think. Let's go with... That reminds me of Amethyst too much. Uh, do we want to go teal or pink? Let's go teal. Let's do the teal. Uh, all right. I don't think we will change our outfit until I do the makeovers. This is fine. That'll do. That will do. Fingers crossed the hair actually works because I feel like this update is a little bit glitchy with uh, mods. I'll be interested to see in the comments down below what you guys think. 
Uh, also, just a quick heads up, I have got this really weird dry cough. So, um, oh, phew, the hair whacked. Uh, so if you guys hear me coughing, it's because I skipped editing it out. Uh, I usually try and edit it out, but I don't think I was successful at it. Oh, Topaz. So, so good looking. Uh, Topaz is at the comedy festival and he is a comedian. So, ooh, fireworks. What kind of fireworks is that? Oh, it's just a sparks fountain. Who's this? Camille. Camille looks like she might get along with Topaz. But Topaz is taken, so irrelevant. Anyways, what we might do is we might head home and I am going to swap to the Barbie household soon. By the way, nice hat you got there, Penny. Uh, it's very nice. Nice uh, sombrero. All right. Off we go home. That was a fun little birthday birthday outing for Mercedes. It gives us a taste of Sam Aishuno in the next season of Barbie uh, when they do move to the city. And I think a lot of you guys said uh, it was kind of split between wanting Topaz and Amethyst and Akash and Nita staying in the house they're in or moving to like a fun, a fun uh, share house in the city, like a artsy apartment. I think what'll happen, love the balloons on here. Uh, I think what'll happen is that they actually stay put where they are whilst we move the Barbie fam family over and then I'll probably build them an artsy apartment to move into in a little while. Uh, all of this birthday setup we did and they're not even using it. <laughs> oh, oh, Diamond dancing in the shark mouth. You go girl. I also feel like Diamond's one of those characters or one of those people who was like, genetically blessed with an amazing figure and looks and so she never really learnt how to dress particularly well because she didn't really have to try and so sometimes she'll wear some outfits that might not be the best but she still just rocks them which I like. Uh, I mean I don't mind that outfit I think it's kind of cool it's kind of artsy. All right Augustus turning on the dishwasher being a domestic I was about to say domestic goddess, but God. Let's age up our little buddy over here. Hello, Grant. Let's have a birthday for you. I'm gonna get all of them to come up here to celebrate or to at least watch what's happening. Ah, whoopsies, my bad. Come on, watch your baby grow up. Loving those dreads. Yeah, that ombre color is so cool. Uh, let's see. Hire any service? I don't think so. Let's age you up. Yay! Oh! Oh, he disappeared! Look at that shake! <gasps> blonde! It's another blonde baby. Childhood, boundless creativity, rule breaking, and temper tantrums await. Let the games begin! Ho <laughs> ho ho! Yes, we will. Uh, okay, I think that. Grant. A lot, some, of, some of you guys said to call him Benz, like a Mercedes Benz. I actually kind of thought that was fun. I think that he is going to be a social butterfly. And I also think he's going to be uh, outgoing. That's what I think. Oh my God. Wow, let's take a look at him in Creator Sim. Uh, let's go to testing cheats. I mean, I could have just clicked on the mirror, couldn't I? Oh, he's got, I already feel like he's, he's a bit handsome. A bit handsome. What? That didn't work. Okay, fine, we'll go to a mirror. Look at your new bedroom. Bends. Change appearance. Alrighty, this is Grant Roberts. He looks, mm, I mean, complexion and hair color wise, very much like diamond, but he might actually have Augustus's face. It's hard to say. To, oh, what is that? That's a bit of a worry, that glitch there. Huh, do they all have that or is it just? Oh wow, that's weird. They've all got the same glitch. What about teenagers? 
I mean, I assume because I have the same netting as an adult. Oh, that's weird. Anyways, Grant, love him, love him. Uh, I don't, I don't really know what to dress him in. I feel like we might do that in the makeover video. Let me know in the comments down below what kind of styles you want them to have. Who do you think Grant is going to be? But let's not name him Grant. I really like the name Benz. It's so lame though, Mercedes and Benz. <sighs> let's call him Armani. Armani Roberts. Oh my gosh. All right, little Armani Roberts taking after Diamond with his platinum blonde hair. He's feeling pretty good. Let's bond with dad for a little bit. Let's do a brighten day interaction. I might just get rid of this little uh, bassinet as well. Uh, the other thing is I was kind of thinking maybe Diamond might get pregnant with a baby that isn't Augustus's. I thought that might be a little bit of a scandal to have in the game. I know a lot of you guys are like, no, but a lot of you guys are evil like me and you're like, yes, do it, Dally. So we probably will. We probably will. Teach a valuable lesson. Always be yourself, son. Never let anyone dull your sparkle. Let's do a little bit of a cuddle. A little bit of a cud cuds. Aww, how sweet. Wow, they do look the same. Actually, they have the same nose and eyes. Aww, this is the cutest moment in The Sims I've felt for a while. <gasps> Just their faces is so cute. Mercedes and Armani. Can you imagine Diamonds talking about her kids? She'd be like, well, Mercedes has started at a uh, elementary women's school and uh, I don't know <laughs> and Armani uh he's he's going into child modeling we're very proud of him yes that would be very diamond like or maybe to the Barbie Barbie household I think I think we need to see the rest of the fam maybe in this part we'll check on on all of the family uh but we've left these guys on a pretty good note Alrighty, so I've just dropped into Jem's house because I know a lot of you guys were saying, can we please go visit Jem? It's been a while. And I have to say, I do miss Jem. And I also have to say, I adore this beach house. It's such a cool house. Uh, I, I don't know, he might stay here, but then again, I feel like he and Honey are really like, he loves Honey, he likes Honey. She's kind of like that perfect girl next door. But she's so much more keener on Jem than he is on her. And, you know, he's got these new fresh feelings for Margot, uh, Onyx's psychologist. And I just feel like he's probably ready to end it with Honey. So I think to end this season for Jem, he's going to break up with her, which is a little bit sad at three in the morning. <sighs> so what we're going to do is try and make this as nice as possible. I mean, you don't really want to make a breakup romantic, but I feel like they need to get away from the share house and just have a quiet place to talk. She's probably like thinking, oh my God, Jem's gonna propose to me. Look at this beautiful night, this beautiful evening. How romantic at the beach with my handsome man. Damn son. <gasps> oh no! before you break up with her. Jem, you're not cooperating. Oh, he, you know, we all know Jem. Jem is a little bit skeezy. So this is what we're gonna do. We have to do this nicely. Don't profess undying love. Maybe, how are we gonna do this? We need to have a deep conversation. We'll express our admiration say, look, honey, Honey, I really like you. I think you're an amazing person, which means she's gonna think we're actually gonna ask her to marry us, but we're not. <laughs> but then we need time for a deep conversation. Oh my God, oh my God, don't propose. <sighs> but I think it's best for us <laughs> if we break up. Maybe we'll just give a slight cold shoulder before we do it. Okay, that was a bit mean. He's like, look, I just, you're great, but I don't think, 
I don't think this is working and I think I'm gonna move back in with my mom and dad for a while. <laughs> Smooth apology? No, let's just go for it. Like you can't, there's no, there's no good way to do this. It's the breakup. I'm sorry. Oh my God, our heart just broke. <sighs> this is so sad. This was me the other day. Oh my gosh, or the other week. It's just like, I'm sorry, honey. I don't, I don't have the same feelings for you as you do for me. You've been a great girlfriend. And you can still live here. I'll move out. Oh, wow. She got over that quickly. Oh, okay. Maybe not. Maybe not. I mean, she's going to be up and down for a little while. It's really sad. Maybe we should try and have breakup woohoo with her. Can we do that? We might ask her back at a later stage. Try to flirt. He's sad, which is nice. Did she like, okay, she did not like that. She's probably gonna call her mom now. Let's see what happens when we beg for forgiveness. They seem like they, they're kind of good friends. Wait, does that mean they're back together again? What does beg for forgiveness? Oh no, it's very awkward. They're just friends. They were sweethearts, but they broke, they broke up and they, they were lovers. They're probably changing their Facebook status now to single. Single, ready to smingle. <laughs> well, that was a bit sad. Anyways, let's get Jem to move out. We're gonna uh, move him back home to the Barbie dream house. Back at the Barbie dream house, Jem's just moved back home. He's told his mom the news. Barbie would be pretty devastated because I think she would have been a massive fan of Honey uh, because Honey is kind of that girl next door. Uh, lovely, pretty, uh, talented, probably, maybe. I don't know, she's probably academic or good at something. Uh, but yeah, anyways, not the right girl for Jem right now. So Barbie's just going to be like, oh, it's such a shame, Jem, but it's okay. You're welcome home anytime. Maybe we can try and cheer him up. Uh, school starts soon for the kids, so maybe we will... Uh, deep conversation, complain about outfit, get to know, express admiration. I thought there would be... Oh, we can just give him a hug. Sometimes all you need is a hug, you know? Yeah. Onyx, do you want to quickly do your homework before you go to school, even though there's really not time? Uh, I think what we might do is get Pearl to wash her hands because she is a little bit of a neat freak. Ah, she's so cute. Uh, actually, it, you know, it really is time to age up Pearl and Onyx. It really is. Uh, Pearl can't do that homework. Where is Pearl's homework, actually? Where did you... Oh, over here. It's unlike her to leave her homework lying around and Ruby... <laughs> just admiring herself in the mirror whilst pretending to watch TV. Kind of typical. Would she do her homework? I don't know. I feel like she would call Wolfgang. <sighs> She's really been trying to uh, get, get to know him better, but no matter how much she tries, it just doesn't really work. Oh, Barbie, so cute. She's like, maybe I'll take you to my hairdresser. You can get a haircut, we'll go shopping, make you feel so much better. You know what? I wish we could get manicures and pedicures in this game because I did that after my breakup. I went and got a pedicure with my best friend and it was so much fun. And I feel like Barbie and Ken would always get pedicures and manicures together. I mean, I love seeing couples <laughs> getting uh, petties and manis together. Oh my God, that romance bar. Whew. As negative as it can get. Yikes. Does Jem even have a job anymore? Assistant to the manager works in 48 minutes. Let's just take a day off. He just needs a day. Like seriously, take a vacation day. And Ken doesn't have a career. Ken's retired. Oh my gosh, how cute are the kids? These guys are just the best. Love them. I think uh, Pearl's going to have a Barbie aesthetic to her dress sense, but she'll have some kook about her. Like she'll always wear gloves or something, I think. But generally she will have a bit of a, she'll look like a Barbie, I think. Uh, Cause I did read a comment where someone was like, all the kids are so unlike Barbie. I thought this was meant to be the Barbie LP. But it's kind of fun cause we're experimenting. 
So I don't mind it. Plus, there are more kids to be had. We need to have 10 kids. Actually, let's check the family tree. <clears throat> uh, what am... Oh, Angelina Jolie actually looks like Angelina Jolie. It's weird. Okay. So Margie. Oh, beautiful Margie. I loved how much work Margie had done to her face. She was so fabulous. Uh, so what... Amethyst hair's gone weird too after the update. Weird. Anyway, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We need at least three more kids. At least. And Diamond has had Mercedes and Armani with Augustus, which is pretty cute. And then Topaz has had. Little Lamassi with Nita, who has a hood on her head. They're, they're, they're love baby who, they're not married. So that's, that's different for, a, that, that would be concerning for Barbie and Ken. I think that'd be very traditional. But Lamassi, we haven't checked up. Maybe we should go and age up Lamassi too. I feel like we should do that. Uh, Onyx is off to school. Anyway, let's just, I mean, maybe, oh, should we, you know what? We're not going to try for a baby in this part because I want them to move first. I want them to be settled before Barbie and Ken have another baby. But we can always woohoo in space and we can always invite a little friend over for Jen. Even though he was meant to be at work, but hey, he, he just had a breakup. We're going to get him a quick rebound because that's his style, I think. Uh, even though I hate guys like that, but that's gem for you. And Ma it's not like Margot really knows Honey very well. I think she kind of knows who Honey is, but I don't think she'd know the situation. Let's go straight down to her and kiss hands. Straight on to the next lady. Okay, good girl. Oh, Pearl, you're meant to be off to school. Not like you to be late and you go your weird way to school every day because you don't want to use the school bus because of germs. Because she's a germaphobe. Okay, cool. She's going to grade school. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, we're we going to go woohoo. Woohoo! For woohoo! Oh, look at them go. She's like, come on, Kenny boy. Bye guys, have fun, but not too much fun. All right, how's Margot going? How is she? She's a very pretty sim. I did enjoy making Margot complain about problems. Let's not, let's go straight. Oh, we can't flirt. Damn it, we can't rebound. Are you serious? Fine. We will just be friendly then. God, what is going... Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh, why doesn't she... Is she trying to flirt with him and he's not reciprocating? Oh, God. Hello. We'll also get a butler too with the new stuff back. Oh, I can't wait to have a butler. That's going to be so much fun. Uh, discuss interests and maybe bright and day. We'll just get them to know each other a little bit better. And hopefully in the next season, uh, this might be his next lady. Uh, but then again, he's, he's always got a bit of a wandering eye. So I don't know if it'll work out for these two. If Margot will be smart enough to be able to put up with Jem or actually get him to only have eyes for her, or if she's going to be brokenhearted like the other girls, like Honey. Because Jem is, he's cute. He's a good looking guy. He kind of knows it. And I don't know, he, he's maturing though. Maybe he'll, maybe he'll just stick for her, stick with her. Successfully, woohoo, in a rocket ship. Oh yeah, Ken is feeling so good today. He's like, oh yeah. Nice, nice. Anyways, oh, principal's visit. Today the principal is visiting Pearl's class. Everyone is to be on their best behavior and not interrupt the lesson. Unfortunately, the kids sitting behind her has decided to, oh, okay, let's ignore that. We also need to, before they move, actually pack up some of these family photos. Actually, we need to, 
have some more photos too. So I'm just going to start packing up the house a little bit, putting a few of their belongings away. Hey, inventory. There we go. Uh, because, you know, it, it's time to move. It is time for a new era. Okay, let's put these in here. Oh, all of the kids' drawings. Oh, can you believe that was made by Diamond? Oh, Diamond, her little noodle picture. All the memories. <laughs> the memories of this house. Okay, the maid's cleaning up their house. Oh my god, Gem, like seriously, you're already on to the next girl. You can't be that brokenhearted. Uh, what else do we have to take away with us? Topaz's room. Mm. I don't think we need too much of this stuff. Oh, we need Margie. Oh, Margie's already here. Okay, that's fine. Um, is there anything upstairs we need to take? Do remind me in the comments below if I forget anything, but I'm pretty sure I have it covered. Nothing there, nothing there. I'm sure their next house is going to be a little bit smaller as well. Uh, this one's just a touch laggy sometimes. Uh, oh God, Ruby really needs a new room. Oh my God, look at her. She's destroyed every single dollhouse. Typical. All right, I think we're good. I think we'll go check up on Amethyst and Topaz to finish off this series. Back at uh, Topaz's and Nita, Akash's and Amethyst's house, these guys are just having a little bit of a, a romantic time over here. They just kissed, which is kind of cute. I love Nita. I think she's just, she's gorgeous. And Topaz is just really in love with her. All right, let's go inside and age up the bye boy because it's time. It's time for them all to age age up little Lamassi. So excited. Maybe we should actually invite the rest of the family over. Okay, let's just have a little bit of a birthday party just here with some of the Sims uh, that we know and love. Uh, the birthday Sim, oh wait, we can't have a birthday party for a baby. Damn it. Fine, we'll just have a house party, keeping it simple. I mean, it's really just a barbecue. It's basically what we tried to do for Mercedes, but this time we're doing it for uh, La Masti. So we'll get Topaz to be the host and the guests are of course going to be the obvious housemates. Ken can come along. Uh, not Karen. I just don't feel like Karen. Not Honey, because that would be super duper awkward. Right, a Barbie, Diamond, Ruby, Pearl, Onyx, Gem. Ah, oh, not that they can really come. Where's Ken? Where? Ken? Oh, I've already picked Ken. Is that everyone? Usually I forget one of the kids. All right. Uh, we don't need an entertainer. We don't really need a mixologist. We don't need a caterer. This isn't like super fancy. This is just like friends come and, or family come over. Let's have a bit of a barbecue. Please tell me they do have a barbecue somewhere. Don't tell me they don't have a barbecue. Are you for serious? Oh no, here we go. Uh, so let, oh my God, Topaz. Why are you so schmexy? He's just so, ugh, I love him. Okay, I need to get over my sims. Uh, alrighty, Amethyst. Righty -o then. Hey, she looks kind of cool bald. I'm not gonna lie, she actually rocks that. Uh, let's change her outfit though. I just want her to be in her everyday wear. Oh, little Pearl having the day off school. God, they're all having a holiday today, aren't they? Uh, let's go upstairs. I might get Akash to actually get the uh, Barbie happening. Let's grill some. Hmm. Let's have some veggie burgers. I'm pretty sure Amethyst would be vegan or vegetarian. And <clears throat> I think we'll age up uh, Lamassi straight away. I'm gonna get the parentals to come over here. And oh, well, we can't age her up when she's busting. I mean, when she's got a dirty diaper. Oh, good job, Amethyst, good job. Nita looking fine. Okay. Let's age you up, Lamassi. Ah! And she's bald. She's one of those kids that were bald for ages. 
Yay! I don't know what kind of kid La Masi is going to be, but I feel like she should be vegetarian. No. Uh, oh. I think she's a genius. Maybe she's one of those weirdos who are good at both being creative and they're academic. Oh, Barbie dressed up for the barbecue. For the barbecue. Ha ha ha. Okay, Lamassi, we really need to see what your natural hair color is. So many birthdays! Wait, hold on. Testing, cheats. True, let's see what she looks like. Ahem. <clears throat> modifying, modifying cast. See what she looks like. Is she blonde or brunette or black haired? Oh, I think she has black hair! Wow, she's got black hair and blue eyes. She is gorgeous. Can we give her the fringe or should we give her this hairstyle? Let's give her a fringe. Oh, I am obsessed with Lamasi. She is so cute. Okay, let's put her in some kind of dress. That's quite cute. What would him? Oh, that's adorable. Okay, I'm getting all like, no, okay. She would definitely wear overalls. It's just, yes. Decided upon, because I just can totally see Topaz and Nita just getting her little overalls. She's gorgeous. Oh, I'm so connected to these characters. It's unbelievable. All right, let's take her. <clears throat> so cute. And what we're gonna do is just have a nice time with the Sims. You know what I've just noticed? And this is really crazy. I don't think the sound is on. Because sometimes when I record... Oh, sometimes when I record, I can't hear the game sound. So I didn't realize the game sound was actually off. Ugh, sorry guys. That's annoying. Ugh. Oh, look at Pearl and Lamassi. They're going to be best friends. Okay, sorry. That was way too excited. Oh, okay. Barbie decided to have another, another change. Amethyst, can you stop wearing that outfit? I don't like it. I don't like it. I want, I, yeah, I'm just not into it. Okay. Did we, uh, you know what? Let's just bring these downstairs. Let's put them on the table. Keep it nice and simple. And let's get everyone to, let's get Amethyst to call everyone to the meal. Everyone, yeah, grab a burger. Can all hang out, have something to eat, and celebrate Lamasi's birthday. And, oh, Onyx, you look adorable in your little overalls. What a lovely, big, diverse family. I mean, really cute. Really, really cute. I love seeing them all. Ken, what? Like, seriously, Ken. What is this? This is a crisis. He's having a midlife crisis. Oh my God, in the next season, Ken should have a midlife crisis for sure. Mm. Gorgeous, you guys. Absolutely gorgeous. That is so Barbie, that outfit. I love it. And where are the kids? Oh, look at them! I am obsessed. This is just such a beautiful big family. And look at Ruby, all glam. I mean, Pearl's pretty glam too, but in a different way. Oh, the cousins. <laughs> Aww. Ruby's. Ruby needs to really, like, put her legs together. Topaz hanging with his gorgeous daughter. And this is obviously the adult's table over here. Jem's feeling a little bit antisocial, but he's been through a lot, I suppose. But anyways, you guys, I'm going to leave this part right here. Uh, I hope this was a nice humble end uh, to season two. Uh, gems finished with a breakup. We've had Diamond, Age Up, beautiful Mercedes who... Oh, Mercedes isn't here. That's who's missing. And uh, we've also had Barbie and Ken have a woohoo, pack up things to get ready to move. And Lamassi has aged up, so I think it's all, all, 
you know, going pretty well. We've got quite a few things that are happening and it looks like Pearl is going to get into health and fitness. Nice one. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon or evening, wherever you are in the world. And I'll speak to you soon.